I've always said that one of the best things to go wireless is gaming headsets, because getting rid of that wire just means one less thing to get in the way while you're gaming, and it also gives you that freedom to be able to just get up and walk away from your computer or your console or whatever um, without having to put your headset down, which I think is pretty cool. So in 2020, we have tons of different options to choose from, but a lot of those options can get pretty expensive. So this MPOW 2.4G wireless gaming headset aims to offer immersive in-game audio at an affordable price point, and it's also compatible with a bunch of different platforms, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna test it out on the PC and see what it can do. The headset comes in that very familiar black and red packaging that we see with a lot of MPOW products. Inside we've got a user's manual, a USB charging cable, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, a detachable boom microphone with windscreen or pop filter, a wireless USB receiver dongle, and the 2.4G wireless gaming headset. My first impression when I got the headset into my hands is that it feels solid but not super heavy, which is a good thing. Now, I noticed that the build quality on the ear cups is not the same as the rest of the headset. They used a really thin and cheap feeling plastic material on the ear cups that doesn't really leave me feeling all that confident. But then when I look at the rest of it, it's weird because it's completely the opposite. This is all made from aluminum, this red part, and that extends all the way up into the headband from what I can tell, and it results in this really strong and sturdy feeling design. So it really just appears to be the ear cups where they used cheaper materials. Now I think we should mention and keep in mind that this is meant to be affordable. So it's reasonable to expect some compromises. The inside of the ear cups have this really soft and thick padding that really helps with comfort. And the contact surface is, I wanna say it's fake leather, but it's so soft and smooth that it's possible that it's real leather. I highly doubt it, but it's actually hard to tell. That's how soft it is. And the headband's made of that same material and it's got some nice thick padding on it as well. In terms of adjustment, the ear cups can extend out from the headband and they can tilt forwards and back as well, but they can't swivel or rotate. Overall, I found these pretty comfortable. They fit around my ears pretty well, but I did notice that the clamping force was a little bit too much on the strong side for me. Over long periods of time, it started to get a little bit sore, but they are brand new, so maybe that'll stretch out and loosen up over time, but it's hard to tell. And they do get hot and sweaty. I mean, they're a sealed headphone. There's really no way for them to breathe or anything like that. So over time, it definitely gets hot and sweaty. All of the controls and inputs are on the bottom of the left ear cup. We've got a microphone mute switch, the port where you install the detachable mic, a 3.5 millimeter jack, micro USB charging port, the power button, and a volume control wheel. Getting the headset set up on the PC is as easy as plugging in the USB receiver to a free port on your computer and connecting the detachable microphone. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the MPOW 2.4G wireless gaming headset. It's just being recorded right now directly onto my computer behind me onto the hard drive. It's raw audio. I'm not going to do anything to it, no effects or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to have to adjust the volume levels so that it equals that of the rest of the video. And that's about it. So um, what do you think of this audio quality? Personally, I think for a wireless gaming headset, and keep in mind wireless always has bandwidth limitations, um, considering all that and the price point of this headset, I actually think it's pretty decent. I think the best part about this headset is the sound quality that you can get out of these large 50 millimeter diameter drivers. It's really good and it actually impressed me, especially considering its price point. It's crisp and clean and I mean, it's bassy just like any other gaming headset, but I think that's a good thing in a lot of cases. It makes games and music sound great and it seems to provide enough detail that you can hear footsteps and other important sounds like that in games like CSGO. Now let's talk about wireless range and battery life. When I test wireless range, I'll usually just wear whatever it is and walk around until the connection drops. And what I found with these was insanely surprising. I had to go all the way down to my basement, which is two floors down from where I am right now, and get all the way to the furthest corner away from where my computer and USB receiver would be um, two floors up to get the connection to drop. That's insane. That's better than any headset that I've tested and a super surprising result because I did not expect a headset at this price point to have that kind of wireless range. I, I'm absolutely blown away, but that's what it took to get the connection to drop. Anywhere else in my house, these things stay connected rock solid the entire time. Now the battery life's claimed to be about 17 hours by the manufacturer and I couldn't really test that because I never used it 17 hours straight um, without plugging it in. I always have a habit of plugging wireless stuff in as soon as I'm done using it so um, I can't really say if that's accurate or not but if it is I think 17 hours is pretty good. Unfortunately there's no real way to monitor the battery life with this headset. Um, the manual does say that once you get below 10% it'll start playing some kind of beeping sound but I mean I would have really liked to have seen something more than that. Some kind of LED indicator or anything really that'll let you know like am I at 90%, 50%, whatever, um, and not just when you get below 10% and they're about to die on you. 
This MPOW 2.4G wireless gaming headset sells for about 70 US dollars when it's not on sale. Um, and I think that's fair to say that it puts it into the more affordable category when it comes to wireless gaming headsets, but they're delivering good sound and microphone quality. And that's really what matters for gaming headsets, at least in my opinion. So, I mean, there are some drawbacks. They're not perfect. You've got the cheap plastic material on the ear cups and no real easy way to monitor the battery levels. But other than that, I mean, they look good, they feel solid, they sound good and they seem to be fairly priced. So I'm gonna put the purchasing links down in the description for anybody that's interested. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you.